All right, good day everyone. Welcome to Kinetic by Design. So today I have a very simple Fusion 360 tutorial about how to model um, a curved slot. And it's not about only modeling the curved slot, but it's also about animating the curved slot and simulating how the pin will move inside the curved slot. Let's get started. So first up, uh, from the shortcut menu, I need to create a new component. I always stick into creating new components first, and this component is going to be called, or rather more accurately, this is going to be my curved slot. All right. Now with curved slot component activated, I need to create a new sketch. I, again, I like to use shortcuts a lot, so So I press S on the keyboard, create sketch on this plane, and let's start by creating our curved slot. So by drawing up a line, maybe from here, this much, this is going to be 130, for example, and then you drop it just a bit, and then you go this way, all right? That looks good to me. Now let's give it some dimensions and make sure it's black before we move on. Let's figure this to be 15. I don't want it this much. My plan is to have a pin that is actually 30 in diameter, or rather a slot that's, have, that's a 30 in diameter in width. And you can see, and you'll see in, in a while how we're going to get to there. Um, next up, I want to dimension this kind of drop. This might be, um, let's say, I don't know, a 25 will do maybe? Yep, 25 will do for now. And this is the straight end. Uh, let's give it 30. Right, sounds good. And then for the angle, I suggest an angle that's around 140 to make sure that the motion is smooth, whether you're going to 3D print this or make it reality, whatever. Now, by using the offset tool, by using the offset tool, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to offset this curve on this side to be around, uh, let's say, 10. Oops, 10, 10. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, but then it's on the other side, so it's negative 10 for now. Um, next up, I have again to offset um, this line this much by 30, which is the other side of the slot. This will make sense in a while. Yep, 30 will do for now. And lastly, one more offset for the same line, but this time is going to be 40. Because it's 30 plus the 10 from the top, so it becomes 40. Quite a bulky slot if you'd ask me, but it will do for now. All right, now let's cap off the ends by using our line tool. Let's just draw one line here and draw one line there, and it's done. Now it's ready to extrude. Now for extruding this, I'm going to do this in two steps. First, let's extrude the body of the slot itself. Um, yep, that's like everything, and let's extrude it back there for negative 10. That is done. And then I like to keep my sketches visible after I finish my, um, my features. And the way to do that, if you go to Preferences and go to Design, just make sure that this is not selected, which is Auto Hide Sketch on Features Creation. If you have it selected, the sketches will be automatically hidden after you come out from the feature creation. I don't like that. I usually like to use the, um, one sketch to do multiple things. So I like it to, I like to uncheck this. Sorry. All right, moving on. All right, this is quite sloppy, I apologize. Okay, uh, now I want to extrude these two things, um, these two profiles to maybe 10. That will do for now. Of course, this is very, very rigid and very, very rigid slot. That's not what we're going to use. First of all, I go here and then I, I, hide, I hide the sketches. I don't need any more. Now, what you have to do is fillet all these curves. But the way you fill it is to make sure that the action is smooth. Again, I said earlier that my plan is to have a slot width around 30, right? So what I like to do to make sure this curve is smooth is to give it a fillet of the radius, the diameter of your, of your pin, which is 30, which is 30, and then you times that by 3. Okay, maybe 3 is a bit excessive. I think 2 will do. Yeah. So if you double the diameter of your pin, you will get very smooth motion. And trust me, I tried this before, you can try it on your own, but if you have um, a quite rigid or maybe more coarse slot, it's going to give you some trouble. All right, let me just finish selecting those edges by holding Command or controlling your PC. 
last edge again hold command or control and PC and it's done you can see we got a very nice curvature here that looks good all right now what we need to do this is the slot is done I need to go here activate this I'm going outside of the slot and I need to uh, ground the slot now moving on I need to make a new component damn it I always mistake the A for S that's my bad okay I'm typing okay I'm S it's now S for my keyboard new component and this component is the pin done I'm now inside the component and it's active now what I want to do is I want to sketch again on top of this surface and now what I have to do is do a circle here now if I make this 30 it's going to be having contact all the time with the surface from inside the slot now what I suggest is to have one millimeter away from the diameter so it's 29 not 30 now in this case when you make a contact set between uh, the slot and the pin it will run very smoothly now something else I want to do also is to have a bigger slot or no sorry a bigger diameter this bigger diameter will be the cap from which the slot the pin will reside on top of the slot this will be much clearer in a second let's give it just to just make another circle at 50 now next up um let's extrude this guy and what i want to do in here is actually extrude it in two sides so from this side let's give it a 10 maybe yeah and then give it here which is another um, 10 was it or something yeah 10 yeah that makes sense now it's on top of the slot now next up I again would like to extrude the rest of the circle okay yeah this way where do you want to extrude it from I want to extrude it from an object this object and then I want to extrude it this way okay I have to reselect this profile again yep all right looks good now this is kind of a cap now I'm leaving this gap because this gap is where you're going to connect whatever is going to be connected to the slot for it to animate or whatever it to move or whatever it to carry whatsoever All right so now you have this gap from which you can collect uh, connect the arm you connect your uh, whatever is going to connect to the pin because the pin is not going to slide for whatever reason it is but it has to slide to carry on something whether it's going to be a drawer or whatever you will connect it here that's why I have this gap All right. Uh, with this done again I want to hide my sketches to keep my preview clean go back to home activate the big assembly now let's join this pin at this point with the slot at this point at make it a planar now when you make it make it a planar joint now this pin can revolve around move around rotate uh, translate whatsoever as long as this point this surface this face from the pin is on top of this face from the slot. Now, if you want to make a pin slot connection, in Fusion 360, pin slot connection is only made for straight slots, and that's the point of the whole tutorial. Now, if I want to simulate how this pin is going to move inside the slot, the only way to do this is by enabling contact sets. So I would like to press this tool, which is enable contact sets. Now, right click here, create a new contact set between this component and this component, and that's done. So now, if I come here and then I try to move this, now you can see that my slot is actually moving around inside, sorry, my pin is actually moving around inside the slot very nicely. And you can actually preview this, this from here, and you can see that it's actually moving very nicely. And there's very little play, this is the one millimeter we left. If you take it uh, down to a half millimeter, it will also be more accurate. I like to leave this gap because I think it's more realistic to leave one millimeter. So you have half millimeter this side, half millimeter this side. It makes sense for my like actual experience as an engineer maybe, I don't know, but it makes sense. And again, I left this space to make it connect to anything else. All right, this is it for this tutorial. This is the first video on YouTube um, but from Kinetic Connect by Design. Oh God, I'm Kinect, Kinetic. Kinetic by Design. Damn it, I don't even know the, the name of my channel. Kinetic by Design. I hope you subscribe, like this video if you like it, dislike this video if you dislike it. If you have different opinions, just let me know in the comments below. I'll see you later.